Yeah. Introduce yourself and we'll get started. Ben Braun, Race University. Coach, from the spring to now, even though pra uh, practice hadn't started yet, what's, what's on the mindset? What's, what's in the future? Well, we're really focused on the guys right now and the workouts and the camaraderie of our team. We really had a really, I think, productive spring and summer with the guys that have been with us. And, uh, the attitude's been great. The work ethic's been great. There's a good sense of camaraderie, and you know, it's been a challenging spring and summer to be sure when you lose some players. But I think the guys, you know, they really give credit to the guys that are here. Their focus has been phenomenal. Uh, their sense of perspective on everything has been, been really good. And I'm really pleased that the guys we have, not only the new guys coming in, but especially the upperclassmen, they've really been good leaders for us because they've been able to put some perspective on our team and kind of the direction we want to go. Tamir Jackson obviously has been a real uh, strength for us in terms of his being a senior leader, <laughs> captain. And, you know, uh, he can relate to the guys on the team and you know, to say, I've been through some ups and downs, but here's where, I've, where I am right now. This is where uh, I'm in my senior year. And he's been such, uh, you know, a strong influence on our younger guys with his work ethic, his toughness, his competitiveness, and his productivity. He's been a productive player. He's helped our team accomplish so many things over the last three years. So uh, he's really, he's really kind of held our, our team in so many ways uh, together. And, uh, he's been, uh, you know, a coach's extension, which is important. So I, I really looked at to Tamir and Julian DeBose as another uh, upperclassman. I can call a sophomore and upperclassman. He's, he's With this a, squad, yeah. Well, he's done a great job. And, and uh, you know, he came on last year to become a starting wing player for us. So he had a really strong finish. And, uh, he's had a very good summer and a very good preseason fall. So I'm going to really count on Julian. Our team's going to count on him to step up and be one of those veteran uh, contributors and leaders as well. So we're, we're pleased to have those guys back. Speaking of Tamir, how has he adjusted with the turmoil that, that has gone on? Because well, he's he's sent and been through it all pretty much with what was there when he got there and the coaching change. Well, Tamir, uh, you know, again, he's He's somebody that's handled adversity uh, through his career, and because you've gone through adversity, I think you're better at handling it. The more you go through it, the better you are. You're also better equipped to help your teammates because teammates are going to go through tough times. Everybody gets homesick. Everybody's not playing as much as they probably would like to. And how do you handle that in, in a college setting? How do you handle, uh, you know, maybe not playing as many minutes or coming off the bench when you've been used to starting, uh, being away from home for the first time? Those are hard things. And Tamir is really a perfect example of somebody that I think can really be helpful to our team and uh, he's stepped up his game his strength uh, we look at his ability from his freshman year to now in terms of how strong he's become uh, how much better he's become as a shooter and his, his statistics have gone up every year he's really worked hard in his game and uh, you know he spent uh, spent a good portion this summer really really focusing and uh, working hard on his game and that's paid off so uh, he's going to finally, for the first time in his career, be in a position where he can really be that attacking player that, that he can be. You know, and that we've brought in a couple of guards that I think can really hold down that position. We've got some guys that are pretty natural at point guard and that can handle the distri distribution part of it. Tamir now can be on what I think will be the scoring end of it, the aggressive end, but still be in a position as he was when he was a point guard to make his teammates better. He's done that in preseason workouts. He's been extremely unselfish. At the same time, he certainly shows he can put the ball in the basket and attack anybody off the dribble. He's as good a player I've, as I've had a coach attacking people off the dribble. He's really really been uh, uh, phenomenal with that. You've been around a while. Who does Tamir compare to? Because you don't, it's, it, it's only one, one player that you and I kind of like, it, it, uh, that's, but that's in the post, but it, as a guard spot. Who, you know, I, I really, it's hard to pinpoint somebody that you've, that you've compared Tamir to. He's a really unique player. Uh, he's somebody that in a lot of ways is unorthodox, but when you look at him, he's a load to keep in front of you. I think the opposing coaches have told me that. They said, you know, we just don't have anybody to keep Tamir Jackson in front of us. We have to run a second guy against him, uh, you know, double team him or get guys in the gap. But one-on-one, uh, -on -one, he's going to get to the rim on you and he's going to make a play, either score, get fouled, or find somebody. So he's that kind of player and he's knocking down his shots. And I think it's even he's even a tougher uh, cover when he's on the floor. But his ability to get to the foul line, to get knocked down free throws, that's going to help our team a lot this year. But I think it's his toughness and his experience that's going to be important for us and certainly something that our younger players look up to. Will practice be 
I know it's going to be difficult, but how how will, will a group that's there, that's ready to play, how will they adjust to it well, I as think, players? I think as players, you know, a lot of players are going to get their wish, their dreams are going to come true, they're going to get a chance to play as much as they'd like to play, and that doesn't always happen with younger players, but as I told our team, uh, I said, all oh, you guys better be ready to play, better be ready to contribute. Uh, nobody's going to be coming in my office saying, hey, coach, I want an opportunity. They're all going to have an opportunity. So it's kind of a good thing from a camaraderie standpoint. And I think our players are going to take that seriously. You know, it's one thing to have the opportunity. It's another to do something with it. But our players really know they have a, a really special opportunity to make contributions. And I mean that literally for every player in the team. We've got a short bench. Uh, it's important. And everybody knows how important their role is for the success of our team. Talk about the schedule. I hadn't looked at anything. I'm pretty much there. I'm, I'm running it on. I'm let, letting you lead me down the path. To, uh, well, to we've got some, we've got some good teams on our schedule. Our non-conference schedule is going to be very important to us. Our ability to get experience in our non-conference to going into the conference is going to be very crucial to this team. We're going to have to get some wins early that show our team uh, that we've got the confidence to knock down some games and win some games. At the same time, uh, you know, we're going to play some good people and, and, and win or lose. I want our team to realize that by playing some good opponents, that's going to also give us a real fair and accurate view about where our team is at. So if we can we can really use our, utilize our schedule, getting into conference with some of those games under our belt is going to help us. Obviously, we're making a trip to Temple. That's going to be challenging. They'll be nationally ranked in their own court. Uh, but we challenged them last year, so it's going to be a good opportunity for us to, to find out a little bit about ourselves. Playing Texas at Texas, we have made a habit of that over the last couple of years, but we've given them some awfully good games. And, you know, one of these, one of these uh, games, we're going to we're going to hopefully knock knock down that shot or hold that box out, and maybe get a chance. Uh, and, you know, and, and beat a really as prestigious team like Texas. But we're very close. Most games are going to help us. Uh, those are the games that, that I think will help us. We're going to have TCU back at our place. We had success. So last time we played and we beat them at our place two years ago. Dropped a tough one last year, but now we've got them back on our schedule at home as part of a home and home. So that'll be great to get them back on our schedule. Uh, bringing in a couple of teams this year for home games. Hartford, who I think will be one of the surprise teams in their league. I think they're a team that feels they should reach the NCAA. And then Long Island, that was a team that reached the NCAA, a very well-coached team that has some very good players, some Texas players to be exact. So uh, they'll be coming into our place to play. And those will be some challenging games for, for our program. We open up with St. Thomas. I uh, really respect uh, their coach, former Rice Owl, and, and uh, you know, Todd Smith. And, and uh, you know, as, a, as our opener, that's going to be a good game for us, local game. So we we put together, I think, a very good schedule. And it's going to be important for us. Uh, certainly, we, I didn't even mention the, the, the tournament we're going to play in, uh, ESPN Classic at, at uh, Anaheim, which opening up with Georgia Tech. If we could somehow get by Georgia Tech, we would possibly play Cal, which would be interesting. They've got to then beat, I believe it goes, they have to beat the team we beat this year, which was uh, Drake. They play them in the in the opening round. We play Georgia Tech. If our two teams win, we would play Cal in the second round. So we've got a chance to play two awfully good teams uh, alone in that tournament. Not to mention we could play Xavier, Drexel, some of the other teams that are in that. It's one of the top tournaments in the country. So we will be tested this year. It's preseason. We'll test our team. Everybody can be tested. Speaking of TCU, they went through a coaching change, but the player, same players are still there. And just a man on. You go way back with Trent. You know, just talk well, about, you know, coaching, the, the coaching change. Just adjusting to the. You know, I, I'm really happy for Trent. He had an opportunity to, to, to land the uh, TCU job, and I know he uh, had some success at, at LSU. LSU, uh, obviously, uh, you know, high expectations. TCU, a team that's on the move, is going to be joining the Big 12. And I think it was a great hire for TCU. Uh, hire Trent because uh, he's a proven winner. He's somebody that's tough. He's uh, hard nosed. He's going to get on his players to play hard. and. Uh, every time we've played his team, I keep telling our team, you're going to be in for a battle, and I'm sure he's telling his team the same. And I think the last time we played is when he was coaching LSU, and we won. So I'm sure he'll remember that a little bit, even though we're friends. I think he's he, he'll, he'll keep score a little bit, and he'll want to come down and... And, and, uh, and Brent Scott, former Rice Howell, also on the bench. I'm sure they're going to look at that game as a really uh, key game for them. But it should be an opportunity to play against a coach I'm very familiar with and a program, obviously, that we go back many years with, and uh, our former athletic director also being at DCU. So it should be an interesting matchup. Is there anything else I hadn't asked about Rice men's basketball up to this point? 
Uh, I can't think of anything. I just think that, that our program, uh, you know, we're, we're excited about the chance to come together and play. Uh, you know, it's going to be a very challenging schedule and challenging year. So we're excited about that. All right. And reintroduce yourself and we'll close out. Ben Braun, Race House. This is Jerry Lee Woodley Jr. with the Kingside View College Sports Report.